Today, I'd like to talk about the concept of work in physics, but specifically, I wanna answer the question, what does it mean to do negative work on an object in physics? We all heard of positive work, like this train right here. The engine is doing some kind of positive work because it's applying a force to the train, moving a force through a distance. And so it's doing positive work on the train. But what would the concept of negative work mean physically? Now, I'll just remind you that the concept of work is given by F, the force applied to the object, times the distance times the cosine of the angle. If there's any angle applied, like if this were a rope and you were pulling at an angle there to the distance being traveled, then F times cosine theta gives you the amount of that force acting in the direction of motion. So the only force that counts when you're calculating work is the force applied in the direction of travel. And when the force itself is lined up in the same direction that the object is moving, we say that positive work is done on the object. Now this equation is really important. It's called the work kinetic energy theorem. What it basically says is the amount of work done on an object is exactly equal to its change in the kinetic energy. Remember, kinetic energy is the energy contained in the motion of an object, one half m v squared, where m is the mass. So in a nutshell, what this very important equation says is if I do positive 10 joules of work on an object, that's exactly equal to an increase in the kinetic energy of the object of 10 joules. Because if they're equal, then the signs have to be equal as well. So if I do positive 10 joules of work, I must increase the kinetic energy by the same amount of joules. Positive 10 joules here, positive 10 joules of kinetic energy going up. Now this makes sense because if I'm doing positive work on an object, I'm pushing in the direction the thing is moving and it must be in speeding up and so its kinetic energy must be increasing. So this equation also applies to negative work. If I do negative 10 joules of work on the left, then that means the change in the kinetic energy is also negative 10 joules, which means it goes down by 10 joules. So basically positive uh, work means an increase in kinetic energy by the same number of joules. Negative work, whatever it means physically, just means that the kinetic energy goes down by the same number of joules. So if I'm pushing a train in the direction it's moving, then I must be applying a force in that direction and it must be speeding up, so its kinetic energy must be increasing according to that equation. But if this train is coming right at me and I'm pushing against its motion in the opposite direction, I'm trying to slow it down doing negative work. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.